It's 7 p.m. on Wall Street. What's everyone really talking about? You know it's on the money tonight. Dead right. The story of a little brand's unbelievable ad campaign. See how it could have the entire industry running scared. Live from CNBC Global Headquarters, this is On The Money. Good evening, and maybe one of the most aggressive and controversial advertising campaigns ever. It's not on TV, and this ad is not on the internet. This campaign is in just a few, but widely read magazines, and it all comes from a company traded on the NYSE, and it's turning heads big time and focusing new attention on the running shoe market. Darren Ravel is on the money tonight. Darren? Melissa, uh, let's talk about back alleys, dead people, and running shoes. We never thought they went together, but the people at Pearl Azumi did. And what happened next turned into a marketer's dream. Page through the August edition of Runner's World and you might do something you haven't done in a long time. Stop at a magazine ad. We stopped on page 59 at an ad for Pearl Azumi running shoes that grabs readers with the bold headline. Ever notice how it's always runners who find dead bodies? We had no problem reading the 124 words of ad copy that pokes fun at the runner's role in crime scene shows. The ad goes even further. If it weren't for runners, you wonder how many of these crimes would ever get solved. Better lace them up, because someone, somewhere, is missing. Probably the riskiest thing you can do is play it safe. Uh, so in, in taking some risk and making a bold statement uh, and in having a message that resonates with runners, uh, you can accomplish some things that are far beyond the scale of, of, of our actual budgets or size. Which the reaction to a series of provocative ads for the small shoe company that falls under the Nautilus umbrella of brands being called unprecedented in Runner's World magazine history. Runnersworld.com right now is on fire with regards to discussions about Pearl Izumi. And as a business proposition, as a branding proposition, I think that's what Pearl Zumi was looking for. Some of the online reactions, not positive. This ad rockets past rude and into the land of disturbingly unhealthy, wrote one blogger. They think insulting or sick ads will generate business. I think it is generating pity. But some say there is no harm in being edgy. The more you can have people at either end of the spectrum, I love it or hate it, the better. Now look, it's an eight and a half billion dollar market the running shoe business is, and it's it's somewhat cluttered. And a and a smaller emerging brand like Pearl needs to create a uh, a loud statement to be able to grab some of that market share. The emails are also flowing in directly to Pearl Azumi headquarters. The strangest ones. People wondering if they qualify for free shoes if they find a dead body. The folks at Pearl Azumi have done something that many brands these days can't do, stand out from the crowd. The only question that remains is whether this will lead to a greater piece of the running shoe pie. In my mind, I hope they succeed because I think they can help revolutionize and bring kind of a, a medium that's being taken for granted back to life. Now, 